war crimes, military tribunals, and enemy combatants. These phrases dominated the news after hundreds of alleged terrorists were captured and taken to the U.S. military base at Guantanamo Bay to be tried by a military tribunal. But those phrases were equally relevant decades earlier, during World War II, when the United States Supreme Court addressed various issues related to military prosecutions of alleged war criminals in ex parte Quirin. In 1942, Richard Quirin and seven other German soldiers, armed with explosives, snuck onto American soil with the intent to conduct a sabotage mission. Although they wore their military uniforms as they came on shore, they removed their uniforms and put on civilian clothes as they proceeded inland. They were apprehended by FBI agents, who turned them over to United States military authorities. Thereafter, in accordance with Congress's Articles of War, the precursor to the Uniform Code of Military Justice that would be enacted after the war, President Roosevelt issued an executive order establishing a military tribunal to try the German soldiers as unlawful enemy combatants. The primary charge was that they had violated the law of war by engaging in attempted sabotage out of military uniform. Quirin and six of the others filed petitions for writs of habeas corpus in federal district court in the District of Columbia. The district court denied the petitions. The seven men appealed to the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia. Before that court could rule on their appeals, they successfully petitioned the United States Supreme Court to review their cases before the lower court rendered its judgment. They also concurrently filed original petitions for habeas corpus in the court. 